For instance, you sit in your car, you will program your destination, you'll relax, sit back, take up a newspaper. Francis, since our last meeting, what has evolved in the electric car world? The electrical car world is in effervescence at this time. Research and evolution and innovation is in full swing. If we take, for instance, the self-drive technology being deployed right now to relieve ourselves of the chores of driving, autonomous technology will completely change the landscape of the auto industry. For instance, you sit in your car, you will program your destination, you'll relax, sit back, take up a newspaper, or engage in a, in, in a business video conference while your car is taking you to your destination. Selling car based on horsepower will no longer be uh, accurate. People will not purchase cars anymore based on, on power output. So the focus of, mar of advertisement will now be on lifestyle. And so what will you call the car? Well, the Leia company has chosen for a model name, the name Leia Quadriga. And the Quadriga is basically a Greek and Roman ancient chariot that was used that used to be powered by four horses. Thus the image for us of using four motors on our cars, a quadriga, a quadriga basically represents the image of this modern technology. In Munich on Leopoldstrasse is, a, is the Sigatol arch, which is topped by a bronze statue of a goddess on a chariot being pulled by four Lions. This represents the essence of the Lea Quadriga, basically elegance, strength, and a lion on, on each corner of the car. And what new materials will you use for this car? Well, the first Lea Quadriga is now being built using full carbon fiber for the outer body. Uh, the cutting edge material will ultimately save 500 kilos of weight on the car. It is also seven times stronger than steel, thus making the car very rigid and solid. Using outer panels made out of carbon fiber is rust-free, dent-free, and wave-free over time. This also allows us to rethink the way we, we address the outside uh, look of a car. Chemically-based paint are no longer used to protect the material. Carbon fiber does not rust. It does not decay with, with, with the weather. So we, we plan on building our first cars not using any paint. We will use uh, uh, film-based stickers to cover the outside of the car, which will basically be easily replaceable when you choose to change the color of your car, for instance, which is not that easily done nowadays with, with regular cars. So the, the nerve of the battle at the moment in the electric car world is based on battery technology. So it is understood that if uh, an electric car can get 600 kilometers in one charge and can also be recharged in under 20 minutes. Uh, that's the way that it can be more sustainable than a normal combustion engine powered car. So what is Leah's goal? Oh, sorry, what is Leah's plan to achieve this goal? We outsource the technology of batteries because at this point in time in, in the evolution, there are many different uh, solutions that are being explored. Therefore, we do not want to commit to one specific uh, battery technology. We want to be able to purchase the battery technology at the moment when we need it so we get the best evolution of the product at the time that we come out with our cars. Development is in full expansion uh, uh, right now and multiple solutions are being offered. The solution we privilege to achieve 600 kilometers of range and uh, 20 minutes to recharge is based on a, on a product called graphite metal oxide with gelled polymer uh, electrolytes. And essentially this solution allows us the possibility to organize the pack, the battery pack, the way we want it. We can optimize the layout, the design, the cooling, and of course the, the software needed to manage those, those battery packs. This keeping the zero to 100 kilometers an hour under four seconds, being able to drive the car at speeds of 250 kilometers an hour and keeping the weight of those batteries under 600 kilos. So where will you sell the Leia? We would like to apply a, a centric expanding approach, which means to say that we will start selling the cars here in Switzerland and then expand 
outwards towards Europe. Once we've, go, once we've gone through the second phase of expansion, which is, which is selling cars to the rest of Europe, we will, we will address the markets of America, the Middle East, and the Orient, and China. There is a, a very strong demand for this type of products in China at this point because of the problems of pollution that they are dealing with. So this is for us a, a, what we think to be a, an important market in the end. Well, it'll be really interesting to see first the release of the Lear and also, of course, the future of the electric car industry. And Francis, thank you so much for coming in and speaking with us today. Well, thank you very much. That's all from myself and Francis today. But if you liked this interview, there are plenty more on our website, dukascopy.tv.